the earliest experience of panic took place in the middle of December. I left the house, but had only gone about 100 yards when I was aware of a growing feeling of doubt and uncertainty. As if I was banging my head, my whole body against the wall of blindness. I'll just pause it. I'll just pause it there just for a second before you all get kind of sucked into it. It's a really powerful experience. This is the trailer. Um, you can watch it as a YouTube VR experience. If you can get this running in the headsets you've got, which you should be able to do through the YouTube app on the headsets, it is really worth doing because it's stereoscopic, right? So you're really immersed in that space. Again, the kind of thing to take out of this is that the behavior I see a lot with a lot of what's on the market in terms of just generic VR content is that people kind of default to, I've got to do a 3D scene and it's got to look either photorealistic or kind of like primary colors. Um, nobody kind of thinks about, if you remember back to the art direction lesson, like two or three lessons ago, where I'm, I'm trying to kind of talk about standing out, distinctiveness, creating something that's really emotionally compelling and powerful and not just defaulting to everything just looking the same in kind of VR. So this is, you know, we'll start to segue into the light in a second, but this as a as a piece of lighting is like almost like it's just basic unlit geometry in darkness with these sort of like very subtle almost like um uh lidar kind of radar sort of things picking out the geometry right so it's really performant there's not much in the way of actual asset production it's all reliant on the idea and the story and the sound and the sound is kind of spatial sound and you've got the the kind of the sounds in the distance of the kind of the children and the car so the things he's hearing so it really brings it to life so just kind of run a um yeah, Daredevil Vision, yeah. So I'll just kind of run another kind of 20 seconds of it um, and then, then we can go to the next one. As one goes deeper into blindness, the things which once one took for granted then tried desperately to compensate for, in the end, cease to matter. So it's spatialized sound, it's using sort of 3D stereoscopic so you can kind of see these characters around you. Yeah, it's all it's all very good. 